Hey guys, Double Wide. Today I'm outside working on a tractor. I just picked this thing up. It's a Cub Cadet. I'll show you it a little bit closer. Here it is, Cub Cadet. LTX 1050VT. It's a V-twin hydrostatic transmission. 50 inch deck. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It has 275 hours. It's got 24 hours horse Briggs and Stratton professional engine and all I know about it is that it needs a drive belt so I gotta get that and it has a bagger it has a three bin bagger unit and I think the year is about a 2010 so uh, what we're gonna do is clean this thing off shine it up do uh, a tune up on it oil change, sharpen the blades, air the tires, the belts and that, and uh, let it go. So that's the plan. So what I'm going to do is uh, hose this thing off, and um, this is just a, I guess it's a, a boar's hair detail brush. There's a little bit of degreaser and dawn in here, and I'm just going to sort of brush this on a little bit, let it sit for a couple minutes, two or three, and then we'll hose this off and uh, all this uh, stuck on dirt from oil should wash right off. Doesn't take much to get it off. This tractor is probably never cleaned. But we're going to clean it now. Been pretty busy lately. You know, we had a, a bit of a drought here as far as the weather. And now all of a sudden I'm getting all these mowers in. We've got another one coming tomorrow. I think that one's a zero turn. So yeah, keeping busy. Next morning here guys, and what do we do? We hose this thing off. I set the bagger up on there, hosed that all off, cleaned it. I have this uh, tube, I cleaned that, that's sitting out in the grass. And I was taking a look at this deck. Looks like uh, we're gonna need a welding repair here for that uh, roller. I'm not sure what's up with this bolt that looks a little odd, so I'm going to take a look at that. And I noticed in here, that bracket down there is cracked as well. The deck is, is really loose, kind of bouncy. Uh, and that's mostly because of uh, the crack in the deck and it holds that bag. That's probably why it ended up uh, cracking. So we're going to pull the deck off and fix that. I noticed there's a cut wire down here. Uh, I guess it's part of the PTO. I don't know how well you can see that. We're going to have to look at that. And there's a, a wire tied around here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that that's what's holding the PTO from spinning, so that's not right. So we're going to look at those things. And I'm also going to go ahead and kind of like buff out this hood just because it has a lot of scratches. And down here is a lot of scratches, probably from uh, someone's heel getting in and out of the tractor, it looks like. So uh, we'll go through this today, get it all set up. Um, the engine cleaned up really well. That worked well with that uh, boar's hair detail brush and a little bit of Dawn. And some uh, purple degreaser. So that's where we're at with this thing. 
Now we're going to pull the deck off and uh, we'll do some welding. I'm going to take the deck off anyhow because we're uh, going to need to replace the transmission belt, which is uh, busted on this thing. up a little bit so you can kind of see all of me like stand over there it out you find Bobby yeah he's still sleeping surprisingly Got the deck cleaned off and scraped this bracket here the guy put a little plate on this needs to be pulled in and welded and this wheel bracket he tried to reinforce so uh, I'm gonna weld that the welds broken here and it pulled through on the inside so we're gonna need a plate there and uh, there's one spot on the top of the deck so we're going to go ahead and uh, start preparing for pulling this together to weld. So I pulled off this wheel and as I showed you this guy had these look like garage door brackets to hold this thing on you can see the welds are broken but uh, what I want to do is put a plate back here so I got a piece here it's probably about 16 gauge and uh, we're gonna flatten that out tack that on there just so that there's something to weld to
This is probably about the sixth or seventh cup cadet that I had to fix this wheel on these things. There's a slight bend in this deck here, so we'll just add that to the metal. There's a lot of material missing on the outside. That's why I put that plate on the inside. This is the top side, so we'll see if we can get this well. I got the bottom pretty good. All right guys, so this bracket's all welded, looks good. I put a plate on the inside there. We fixed, we put a plate on the bottom side of that, welded the top. There's the plate in there on the inside. That'll really give that some strength. And then this bracket up here had a crack or two. So I went through and welded that. So I think this deck's all back together. I'm not sure what this is. It's not holding anything. I'm thinking maybe the guy had a bungee cord on the bagger system. Um, and that's kind of what that was for. So I'm leaving that for right now. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do is flip this over and sharpen the blades. So that's what's next. And then uh, I'm going to grease up these spindles. These spindles look like they were replaced. Uh, all of them are new, all three. They have stickers at least. They look pretty good.
Just going to check these for uh, balance. This thing's pretty nice because it can fit any uh, type of blade. So this one's a star pattern. And I scraped off the blade 90%. And we can see that this end's a little bit heavy. Try that again. Yeah, so what we got to do is take a little bit of material off this side. Round two. There we go, we got it. I always like to balance them, especially if I'm removing a fair amount of material. So these spindles are greasable, so I'm going to grease them. Just cleaning off the tip there. Pneumatic grease guns make that real easy. This is the PTO. You can see the wire was broken. So I'm just going to clean this up with better connections. So I'm going to be using these crimp on fittings. I folded that in half. If I can get it tight enough, I believe that'll double up and fit. There we go. There's one side. Looks like these were actually soldered, but he did such a piss poor job of soldering, I was able to just take the wire nut off and, without heating it up or cutting it. Alright, so I got both sides doubled up. And crimped and these are watertight so you, you can shrink them down they yeah, like these fasteners they work pretty well you should really use a heat gun to shrink them Alright, just finished up that PTO. I realized I didn't leave it long enough, so I corrected that off camera. And I ended up just taping up the whole wire with those uh, shrink wrap connections. And uh, my belt just came in. Got that from Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to put that on. Here's the number. I'm using a Stens part, 265-213. So uh, we're going to snake this guy on here. I have it all set. The uh, steering wheel, I had to remove the, uh, the gear and pull the steering wheel up a hair. All right, guys. I was able to put on the drive belt. Um, it's sort of hard to film, so I didn't film it. But... The nice thing was I didn't have to remove any pulleys. I was able to snake it on. The only pulley that I had loose, that I needed loose, was this top one. But I had to take off the PTO anyhow. And I should mention that this bracket up here, I know the lighting's not great. This locks in here. If you remember, there was like a wire that they had wrapped around. And uh, it should lock right in here, part of the belt guard. 
and I was looking at this belt it all looks good and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that and the only other thing that you need to know is you didn't have to pull the steering shaft the belt actually goes on the right side of it so they've made this belt pretty easy to put on really so um, this looks good normally what I would do is drive this thing around and make sure that belts on right but I'm looking at it things are good so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go a step further and just put the deck on this thing so hopefully I'm done so uh, I'm gonna pull the deck over and put that on just about done here guys so I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, tire cleaner we're just gonna try and get some of these scuffs out good we're in the final stretch now we got a loose handle this thing's very loose and I see there's a little bit of tape on there a friend of mine taught me this trick you got to use masking tape so we put a little bit of masking tape around here and then what we do is we cover it with gasoline this is a little two cycle fuel and what happens is that gasoline will melt down the masking tape and once this thing gets on here it's supposed to stick and hold real tight so we'll let the gas break down that tape and from what I heard that's how they do golf clubs just like that for the handles so guys, I was just cleaning some of the scuffs off of this plastic here, and I tested this handle, and it's like glued on there. That really worked well, so that's a good tip for you. Alright guys, well hey, thanks for hanging out today, fixing this uh, tractor. We got the three bin bagger on there. The only thing this needed was a uh, pin, so I put that in the back. And we welded the deck a couple places, we sharpened and balanced the blades. Pressure washed off the engine. Um, Welded this wheel on here that came out real nice. I might slap some paint on there if I have the right color. And the bag fits and it seems to be working. Let's see if we got any grass in here. There we go. Wow, we got a lot. And that's all I cut. So anyhow guys, I'm Double Wide Six. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a fun project. It needed a little bit more work than I thought it was going to. But uh, overall, it's a nice driving tractor, and uh, I think it'll make someone pretty happy. So please comment down below, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll look forward to talking to you in the comment section. Thank you.